Hi, I'm Kevin Hildebrand, Cantor at Concordia Theological Seminary, Fort Wayne. And we're almost done with the spring quarter here on campus, so that means that summer's right around the corner. And that means that pastors and church musicians should be doing some looking ahead for summer worship planning. We're doing that here for Kramer Chapel, and we wanted to share some ideas with all of you. And if it's useful for your parish, we're, we're happy to share. We've created a table that has ideas for every week of the summer in both the, the three-year and the one-year lectionary uh, systems. And we provided usually a hymn or a music or a liturgical idea, very simple and usually free from the hymnal or, or some other uh, resource that, that we're providing that, that you may want to use uh, for your own parish use this summer. It would be too long and too boring for me to go through the whole list. So I want to point out a few key items. First of all, there's a couple Sundays this Sunday, uh, this summer, where Jesus in the Gospel lessons is focusing on some of the Ten Commandments, specifically in the three-year series, uh, both on Sunday, June 3rd and on August 26th, Jesus is speaking about uh, both the Third Commandment and Fourth Commandment, respectively. And so this may be an opportunity to introduce or reuse at your, your congregation Luther's hymn on the Ten Commandments. And it's in Lutheran service book, that's hymn 581. And when, when you look at that, that hymn, uh, or from your knowledge of how that hymn is constructed, you know that the first stanza sort of serves as an introduction to the commandments, and the last two stanzas, 11 and 12, sort of serve as a conclusion or summary to those commandments. And then Luther gives us one commandment inside the hymn uh, a, and a, a stanza that, that uh, explains each one of those commandments. So, for instance, the Sunday uh, where Jesus is teaching of being the Lord of the Sabbath and specifically the third commandment, it might be useful to sing maybe stanzas one and two of Luther's hymn. Uh, to sort of set the, the, the stage. And then stanza four is the stanza that speaks about the third commandment. And then finally, stanzas 11 and 12. Uh, and then likewise, making those uh, adjustments later on in the summer when, uh, when the gospel focuses on the fourth commandment. Another thing to consider this summer is in, the, uh, in a series B, we have three Sundays in August where the gospel comes from John 6, successive portions of that chapter where Jesus is teaching uh, on the, the I am the bread of life, or I am the living bread that comes down from heaven. And this would be a very good time for pastors and church musicians to sit down and discuss how are those Sundays going to be treated. The musician probably would be, uh, benefit from knowing Pastor, how are you going to preach on those texts for those three weeks in a row? And then that can help the musician make him and other music choices to, to correlate with those three Sundays so that, for instance, everything isn't said that first week, only to find that we have two more weeks coming from that same chapter of, of John chapter 6. This is where the Lutheran service book hymn selection guide can be very helpful in uh, making hymn suggestions. For those three weeks, so uh, so that uh, as we look at those successive verses from John six, that uh, we have a good plan for those Sundays. A third thing is that with those weeks on John six, uh, the appointed psalm for one of those Sundays is Psalm thirty four. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good, and and you can hear and see the obvious correlation between Psalm 34 and those gospel readings. That also shows up this summer in one of the weeks in the one-year lectionary. And as we've mentioned before, we use a lot of different psalm settings here at the seminary in Kramer Chapel, and sometimes we've created our own psalm antiphons to go along with those. And uh, we're providing as a free downloadable resource uh, a, a psalm antiphon that, that you could use along with one of the psalm tones here from the hymnal, and uh, that's uh, on our, our downloadable resource page, and you're welcome to use that uh, if that's uh, uh, something useful and helpful for your congregation. And we hope that these ideas can help you and your worshipers as you go through the summer. Thanks for watching.